time for a movie review and, of course, an anniversary video. This one will be interesting. I decided to pick Hotel Transylvania. Good timing to do that one since Halloween is just around the corner and the movie came out back in 2012 since it turned 10 this year. Also, after the review, I will talk about the receptions on the movie. I'll explain that when I get to it. So let's begin with the story. Count Dracula builds a massive hotel in Transylvania where the monsters spend there. He raises his daughter Mavis since he lost his wife. On her birthday, Dracula allows Mavis to leave the castle to explore the world. But the plan backfired since the zombie disguises as humans to frighten her. Then a male human named Jonathan enters the hotel where Dracula is not pleased with a human in a monster only hotel. Drac decides to disguise him as Frankenstein esque monster and passes him off as a cousin of his friend Frank. Johnny encounters Mavis for a love at first sight, or in the movie they use the term Zing. Unable to get Johnny out of the hotel without being noticed, Drac and Johnny decide to plan parties in the hotel and Johnny is ready to perform a relationship with Mavis. And I won't give away what happens towards the end, but it is a happy one. So yeah, I didn't watch this movie when it came out. But after a year and a half later, I actually like this one. It's one of Sony Animation's best before Into the Spider-Verse came along. It's weird that this film is not done by Disney or DreamWorks or Illumination. It's one of the most realized renditions I've seen in a while. The story is pretty good. I am shocked that this movie has dramatic moments. The director of this movie is none other than Jendi Tarkovsky, I believe I pronounced his name right, who worked on Dexter's Laboratory and Samurai Jack. And while I haven't seen his shows he made, that was a good choice to pick. The characters are memorable and funny, and each with their unique identity. The voice acting in the movie is pretty good. I can't say this has a really good cast or surprising one like Inside Out or Kung Fu Panda, but still a pretty good one. Adam Sandler voices Count Dracula, Andy Samberg voices Johnny, Selena Gomez voices Mavis, some SNL alumni like Kevin James, Steve Buscemi, David Spade, and even John Lovitz voices the chef. Also, CeeLo Green voices the mummy. And I will say it was an odd choice to do the voice, I mean, I know CeeLo Green, he's a songwriter and a singer, but I know him less. Still, he did a good job voicing The Mummy, just not the cast I wanted. Thankfully, in the later sequels, Keegan-Michael Key replaced him, which, that voice is better. Other voices are great, I have no problem with the choices. I will say, Selena Gomez voicing Mavis is not what I expected. Before then, I wasn't the biggest fan, but I am now. Still, she did a good job voicing the character. The comedy was very funny. They throw references and subtle humor, and they're really good. That was one part I was so worried I wasn't going to like, but that proved me wrong. The best highlight in the movie is the animation. It is amazing. It's some of the quickest and most energized animation I've seen in a while. It's filled with sharp and distinct motion like walking and movement. Thankfully, it's not all constantly, so it can have the slower emotional moments. So yeah, I really enjoyed Hotel Transylvania. And interestingly, it's actually one of Adam Sandler's best movies. Not shocked, since some of his films are not great at all. Speaking of that, let's talk about the receptions. As of now, this movie is at 44% a Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, a Rotten score. And... I don't get why critics are hating it. I mean, it's not the lowest score of Adam Sandler movies, but it's not as high as some of them. Ironically, 50 First Dates is one off above Hotel Transylvania. I don't get it. Besides the negative receptions on the critics, the movie gained a bit following during the 10 year run. Three sequels had made, and a TV series, which I haven't seen the show. The fourth one, Transformania, came out in the beginning of the year, and it is a final one in the series. I will watch it when I get Amazon Prime, but a franchise must come to an end. If you haven't seen the first Hotel Transylvania movie, check it out. This is good time to watch it during Halloween time. That is all for my review and a short 10 anniversary on Hotel Transylvania. So now, let's move on to next month with more 
videos. I'll see you guys for October.